Tara Omato Show with Inspired Into Action, interviewing women who are taking action in their business. Today, I am interviewing Christina Alba. How are you doing today, Christina? I'm good. Thank you. Um, Christina, tell the listeners more about who you are and what it is that you do. Okay. So, as Tara, my name is Christina Alva. I am a pusher, author, a career coach, and a math tutor. So, services I provide as a career coach would be resume and interview coaching. I also have an upcoming book that I co wrote with my sister, Beyond the Job Description How to Succeed in the Workplace. It's all about helping new and aspiring professionals succeed. In Wow. How did you how did you come up with that um, that niche on helping people succeed in the workforce? So I've been working for about 16 years and I find that I get asked a lot of questions about, you know, how to get a promotion, what people should be doing at work to make a name for themselves. And as a supervisor and a hiring manager, I've seen a lot of incoming um, grad students and new professionals make mistakes and things of this nature. So um, I do a lot of mentoring. And then my sister, she does a lot of mentoring in the community and with church organizations. I said, hmm, I should write a book about this. And, you know, that's how the business idea was born. Wow, so you just decided just to write a book and here you are today. You, I mean, this is the first book that you've ever written? Yes. How was yes. that process for you? Oh, wow, this has been exciting. <laughs> exciting and it's something new. I've never done it before. I'm completely out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. um, working with other people to help uh, energize and, and get all of the different processes from book cover design to coordinating with my sister so we can meet up together and review things and, and write chapters. So it's been a challenge, but it's been pretty exciting. Wow, that, that's, that's huge faith. Because, you know, some people would just have a good idea and then they would just sit on it. They wouldn't do anything about it, but you decided to take action. Right. So, Christina, oh, yeah. could you tell the That's listeners cool. more about some upcoming events that you have going on? Yes, definitely. <laughs> so, I am having a book launch party on November 11th. It is an afternoon social. So, come on out and network with other professionals in your industry. You know, um, get to know other people, get some business cards. You know, if you're looking for a job, you know someone who's looking for a job, or if you just want to you know, identify some key figures in your industry and maybe get some top tips for at the workplace, come on down. It's going to be in Silver Spring, Maryland. So if you're in the Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, I'd love to see you there. It's from 3 to 5 p.m. and you can purchase your ticket on Eventbrite. Just go to afternoon-social.eventbrite.com. Um, tickets are $20, but that comes with a signed copy of my new book, Beyond the Job Description, How to Succeed in the Workplace. Okay, that's cool. So this is this is can be for people who are looking for jobs or people that are looking to hire because there's going to be a lot of people there that are going to be interested in um, giving their card or passing their card and also just hearing more information uh, from you about how to get in the workplace and um, some tips. Are you presenting information as well, like um, sort of like a presentation or how is that going to go? Um, it's more informal, more just socializing, networking, you know, I will introduce myself, my sister will be there as well, and we'll give a couple of tips and, and tell our stories about how we got interested in writing this book, and, you know, the point is just to come out and meet others in your industry. Um, I will have some more events coming up in 2018 that will be more workshop-based and really go into some of the topics that are discussed in the book, so, you know, Follow me on Instagram at Christina and Alva or follow me on Facebook at Christina and Alva so you can be updated on all events to come. Could you tell us more about maybe some of the challenges that you face in regards to writing the book and starting your own business? Sure. So there were many challenges, but one in particular is time management. Um, I work a full-time job and then I'm a full-time mom, single mother at that. 
And so with the tutoring schedule, the work schedule, you know, trying to come home and pay some attention to my son, check his homework, cook dinner, you know, taking a tutoring session. And now on top of that, I want to write a book. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, right, it's just the, the planning and the sacrifice that you have to make up front so that you can build that legacy, build that empire for the future and where you want to go. So making sure that I got everything at home taken care of after I left work. And then once my son was in bed, I would spend a couple of hours writing and working with my sister and, and this and thinking about the goals and the plan and then planning on the weekends for the whole week so that I'm not up creating extra time for myself when I could have taken care of that earlier. Wow. So that was one of the challenges that was hard. And some of you out there may be thinking the same thing if you're a single mom and you're thinking like, I have so much going on. It's just do what you can when you can and be consistent with it and get your kids involved. They love to be nosy and to do what you do. You know, my son, I tell him to write while I write. I would write. And then I would also tell him to, you know, check what I wrote, read it, read it out loud. Do you understand it? Do you have any questions? Because I know if he can understand, then, you know, I'm sure my readers can understand. I say that with my son. He's 16 years old. So <laughs> no, but that that's great. Yeah, you're like this is not a child's book. <laughs> this right, is a right. children's book. But no, that's really great that you're really getting him involved. And how important that is for him to see you taking these steps and, and owning your own business. I bet that's really impactful for him. Has he ever shared anything like that with you, or he hasn't talked to you much about that? <laughs> well, I told him he should write his own book, and um, I can't get him to do that yet. But starting his own business, he has started doing that. He started one up last summer, and we're growing that right now. Um, he likes producing and making beats. Yeah. So if, if he's into music, I'm like, all right, let, let's do this. Now that I'm walking through the steps and going through the process, I can pass it on to him and get him going. Yeah, that's really great. Tina, yeah, that's in going. regards to being an author, um, I know that there's some, you know, there's always things that we learn. and you know, mistakes sometimes or things happen. What are some things that you, looking back on your process and writing your book and publishing and, and doing all these things, what are some things that you would never, you would say, I wouldn't do that again I'm, and I wouldn't recommend anyone else doing that? That's a very good question. So <laughs> started writing my book. I just jumped in and started writing and it was, it was very hard because <laughs> my thoughts were all over the place. Mm -hmm. So planning first, plan, mm -hmm. plan, plan, strategize for whatever you want to do with my math business, with career, all of it. It's, I wish I would have like spent more time in the beginning planning out where I wanted it to go, how big I wanted it to grow, what the end result was, because then I could have effectively planned from the beginning. Okay. So yeah, stopping to, to see the big picture and outline. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Anything else that you uh, can suggest or just really planning would have been something that you would have done? Planning would have been something that I would have done. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, setting aside money because uh, dreams and goals cost money. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you know there's something you want to do, just make the small sacrifices now a little at a time so that when you do get going on your dreams and your goals and, and starting your business growing your business you'll already have some financial help available for you and that's good that's good advice because a lot of people don't think about the the costs that are associated with it because when you write a book you know it's not just putting the book together it's about creating a website you know business cards logos all these things that you know come up and you just think that i'm just writing a book and it's like no it's a lot that goes with it i mean even the editor and all these things like that and all that all that all those resources cost money so um yeah that that's a good point what are some things um in regards to skills and writing books and writing your first book what are some skills that you think that people need to have out there that are interested in writing a book or they want to be an author, what are some skills that they need to have? I think that you need to focus, <laughs> you need to stay consistent, and then you need to follow through. Mm -hmm. I think those are some, some very <laughs> great skills to have and that you will need to complete your project. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that follow through was most important. I think a lot of times people, like you said, they start out with good intentions, but they just don't follow it through to the end. And you really have to follow through to the end. I mean, especially if it's something that you are passionate about and that, you know, has been given to you to do, 
you know, do it. Don't don't get discouraged. Don't don't get caught into fear or or human logic. You know, really do it. Why not? You know, <laughs> is that what you said to yourself? Like, why not now? I did say why not now, and I also started plugging into other people I saw on Instagram and things of this nature that were successful authors. And um, Tressa Azarel Smallwood is one person that I follow on all her social media. Um, she's very supportive. She's always encouraging her followers and listeners and trying to keep them motivated and keep them encouraged. So just plugging in to other that are in your same area or industry really helps. Yeah, that, that's very important, too, to have like a mentor or someone that is assisting you through this process, because it's always good to have someone, like you said, that has been through the process that can give you pointers on what to do, what not to do. And um, so you can avoid some things, some mistakes that they might have made um, through their process. That's really great. What are some things um, like in regards to if someone wanted to write a book today or they wanted to start a tutoring business, what are some things that you would suggest to them that they can do right now? Let's see, so they wanna start a tutoring business or write a book, some things that you can start doing right now are just um, networking for one, <laughs> expanding your network, getting out there, meeting people, um, introducing yourself to people so they know what it is that you do and, and what your niche is. So then when you do write your book or you do open your business, then it's like, oh yes, that's that girl who likes to, you know, help people learn math and study math. Or she likes to write books. I should ask her. She did mention she wanted to do that. So just getting your name out there, building your brand on social media so that you can um, be known as that person, that go-to person in that specific industry. I think those are things that you can definitely start doing um, now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. So, um, Christina, what are some books that you read that help to motivate you into being where you are right now? Ah, okay. <laughs> so one book I like is um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, another one would be um, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Love that book because that one talks about success curve. The little habits you do daily will determine your success or your failure. Once yeah. I got that concept down, it was like, wow, let me work on what I can do today consistently, repetitively over time, and as long as it's a positive habit that I can build now, I just know it's a matter of time before I see my success. Oh, that's really good. Uh, that's a good point. I love that point too, because you really don't realize how the little things that you do or don't do are setting you up for a success or failure. I mean, it's just the little things where, you know, if you, and, and I think I like, you know, trusting, you know, your, your gut or like, if you really feel like, oh, I need to do this, and you don't you ignore it and you don't do it then you're like man i should have done that i know i should have done that you know i would have been prepared you know i, I say it is, is god is preparing us you know he'll mm -hmm. he'll send those 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 messages to us to help prepare us for what he knows is going to happen in the future and he's telling us for a reason so it's like you know hey <laughs> that thing or do that or write that or or connect with that person you know you may just think that you know it's just a normal connection but it's really a divine connection so that that's really that's a really good point really good point uh, Christina if the listeners want to get in touch with you how can they get in touch with you so you can get in touch with me by going to my website christinaalva.com and there you can leave a message or request coaching. Um, you can also send me an email at info at christinaalva.com. Okay, so tell me more about how the coaching would go. Like if someone contacted you, how would, how would those sessions be? And, and what takes place in those sessions? Okay, sure. So first you just um, go to my website and request coaching and we'd set up a 15 minute introductory call where I can assess like what your needs are and what it is that you're looking for. And if it was coaching for an interview prep, um, then I'd set up a time and we'd go for an hour. You'd send me your resume and I would just kind of take you through a mock interview mm -hmm. to see how you respond to questions. And then I would provide feedback and probably make some suggestions to tell you how you can improve on your interview process. Yeah, and that's really good. So you can sort of interview before the interview so you'll be ready for it. And like, you know, know exactly what you're going to say when you go in the door. You can feel confident about your presentation because you've been able to sit down with a professional and they've been able to assist you. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And that's really good for people, especially people who may have anxiety in that issue in that area. Yes. And you, the more you, you find that, that helps with them. Yes. Totally. The more you practice, um, the better prepared you are because being prepared is all about practice, practice, practice. Um, it's hard to surprise someone who has been practicing. <laughs> yeah, no, it, that's so true. That's so true. That's so true. Okay. And then also, um, oftentimes on Inspired in Action, we have specials. So Christina has a special for all the listeners that are listening through Inspired in Action. Can you tell them more about that? Okay, sure. So my book is available for pre-order right now on ChristinaAlva.com, and you can get 25% off of your purchase. Now there's a book and there's also a workbook that you could purchase if you like that will help you walk through some of the concepts in the book, like building a, an effective workplace brand, um, walking through building your cover letter or resume, so things like that. So there's the workbook, you can get the bundle, you can get one or the other, but any product that you buy, any book that you buy on my website, you'll get 25% off from now through the end of the year. And the code that you need to enter is INSPIRE2017. No space, wow. all one word. <laughs> wow, that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't know that you had a workbook. That's awesome. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really good because not only are they reading the book, but they're able to you know, jot down and take practical skills and apply it to, you know, right. oftentimes when you read it, it's better to also write it too. So it sticks within your brain. That's really great. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so Christina, is there anything else that you'd like to leave you, the listeners with before we um, end this interview? I um, just want to say to everyone out there who's working on growing their business or you have a business idea, don't be afraid. Just jump out there. It could be very scary. It could be very uncomfortable feeling, but just get out there and start doing a little bit every day, a little bit every day and don't stop. Yeah, I agree with Christina. Um, definitely when you start taking those bigger, those steps and you continue to take it, it's it does get easier and easier. However, don't stop until you reach your goal. Yeah, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. Thank you, Christina, for taking this time out in your schedule to interview with Inspired in Action and to share all your information about writing a book and, and, and really just taking some steps of faith and leaping out there and, and starting your own business. Okay, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. All right, you too. All right.